So there's a number of processes to, to making pottery. I think one of the key things we have with the pot chop is, is it has to be handmade. There's lots of, lots of processes where you can make ceramics or pottery, but I think the key thing here is it's made by hand. The, the principal processes are all small scale, individual, um, and done by hand. So the first part of it is, is you make the pot, and a lot of the pots in here are thrown on the pottery wheel, and they're going to be we're going to be um, doing some shots of that later on. There's also other processes uh, like these uh, beakers I'm working on at the moment. These are coil built or hand built and they're made on, on a turntable. It's a more um, simpler technique, although it is quite skillful. There's also um, slab building or hand building and making of tiles. Um, I also make a lot of tiles and I use the tile moulds, which I don't know if you can see there up on the, the top shelf there. So just the, the making of the pottery, after you've made the basic object, the next part of the process would be sometimes you just make a pot and, and that's it, but usually there's some sort of, there's maybe a handle or a spout or a, um, some type of plastic decoration, a moulded face or something. So there's some kind of uh, decorating process. There's the firing process, which the public don't get to see, but that's all done in the kiln. Um, and we've got two, two kilns. One of the potters, she's got her kiln in a garden shed, and that's up the top of the hill. And my kiln is in a, in a garage, and that's down the bottom of the hill. But the public doesn't get to see that part of the process. It's, uh, it, it wouldn't be safe, and it gets really hot in there. In the summer, you'd get someone walking in and, and fainting in the room, because it gets really, really warm.